Hi everyone. I uh, finished another journal and I wanted to share it with you. This one is called Fresh Daisies. Well, that's the kit. I got it at um, LJB Instaprints on Etsy. And um, yeah, let me show you. Just have a, a this is a little grow grain ribbon closure. Um, the cover is a 9 by 12 envelope and I just covered it in some uh, of the paper from the kit that I enlarged and um, uh, some music paper. I think this is an image from, uh, I don't think this was in the kit. I, it, it's either in the kit or I got it on uh, Pixabay. I'm not sure I had a bunch of daisies that I collected. A little bit of uh, flatback pearl, some cheesecloth, a little bit of lace on the edge, some more cheesecloth and lace, and this is some words from the kit. Um, I did Mod Podge the cover. Um, so it's very, very, very sturdy cover. So. Um, I just put a little pocket on the inside, and I had printed out some, um, scriptures, and I coffee dyed them. So, this is from the kit. This is a little card set I got that happened to have daisies on it. And, um... This paper's from the kit. I put um, trim, uh, um, crochet trim, sorry, on the uh, edges of the designer paper. And um, some of it's coffee dyed, some of it's not. It's kind of a mishmash. Um, this is a journal card from the kit. This is a... Um, I can't remember what she called them. I want to say flip over kind of tag. Um, I think I saw it on Roxy Creations, but she said that she saw it um, on uh, Lori's channel, uh, Girl on the Ridge. So I put some of those together real, real quickly and just shrunk some of the journal cards from the kit, made the little envelopes, added some buttons and some eyelash trim and made little tuck spot so um, I decided to just decorate the back page too but it just flips over the top really cute really simple quick and um, this page is from the fresh daisies kit here's the envelope and some of the uh, ephemera that came with the kit and I just kind of layered a little collage on there, flipped it over this page, put some of the little uh, miniatures on there, and added the uh, mason jar. I love these mason jars. A little tuck spot with some lace, and just this, all this ephemera came uh, with the kit. Made, I took one of the pages and just made some tags. I don't believe it came with tags. So, a little bingo card. And um, I think I got that on Pixabay. I'm not sure. Some of the stuff that came was in the kit I've seen elsewhere, so I'm a little, uh, I kind of forget. Um, this little belly band with some eyelash trim and a little daisy. More of the designer paper. This is from a, a hymn book that my friend Teresa gave me. And I um, actually made this journal for her because she gave me a stack of books that were uh, that are great. Old dictionaries, old hymn books. and So I made this little prayer journal for her. There's more ephemera. But I miniaturized some of the pages and made little writing booklets 
little crochet tram. Pretty sure I use the same trim throughout here. More, there's a smaller envelope. One of the larger pieces I just folded in half. Piece of extra music that I had. This is a, a really um, cute kit. Piece of um, dictionary page, little pocket, another miniature envelope, some more tags, and ephemera. Well, ephemera, I use that term loosely as do a lot of people, I suppose, because we make our own ephemera. This is from the um, Country Diary of an Edwardian Lady. Gosh, I hope that's the right book. Um, but yeah, they had the page about daisies, so I put that in the middle and just added some little journal cards. Um, I saw Gail Agostinelli do this. And the lace in the middle. I love that. That's also her idea. Well, um, a little daisy, uh, doily. <clears throat> Excuse me, got daisies on the brain. And another scripture, another bingo card. <clears throat> Excuse me. Another tag. I just put a piece of crochet lace on that. I, I didn't stuff it full of stuff because I wanted Teresa to be able to write in it um, and add her own spin on things. So I love this picture right here. A little bit of writing paper, more from the kit, the journal card. That's pretty too. The other side of the hymn book. Yeah, this was really fun. Just a belly band with some scraps that I had. I stuck one of the um, envelopes that came with the kit in there. Another. Writing spot. Lots of writing spot in here, spots in here. Um, some pieces of the kit I enlarged. This is a tuck spot. Um, and some I shrunk down just to add some. This is a stamp. You can see stamps are not usually that large, but I love that. I just added a couple of extra little cards that came with the kit. And I had this piece left that I did, didn't want to forget about, so I added that in there. I just stuck it, and then I made this little clip. This kind of a, gosh, I guess just a cluster of words that were in the kit, and added a button and a little pick from the kit. A little tiny piece of lace. So um, here's an, the other one of those uh, flip over pieces. That I made into a tuck spot, just some eyelash trim and lace. And here's the other side. This came with the kit. And the journal paper. That's the larger version of the other one. This one was so pretty. Just love that. So I added some some lace and a little paper daisy to it. And that's it. So hope you enjoyed seeing it. I think it turned out really cute and I hope that um, Teresa enjoys it. I think she will. She said she loves I'm not going to tie that because you know how it is when you're on camera. Uh, she said she loved white daisies, so I got white daisies and a bunch of others in here for her. So anyway, thanks. Talk to you next time.